Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death, a wonderful series of permadeath runs in Skyrim Requiem. And uh, this time we're continuing our journey with Carlos de Silva, the Khajiit who has joined the Thieves Guild. We're jumping right into the action as I needed to split the last episode in two. So what you're going to see now is, or oh, this is an ex post uh, recording of the actual uh, events, but we're going to jump uh, into more banded continent as I was desperately trying to get a couple of level ups. Enjoy. So we are at the last stage of today's episode, Nilheim. Another bandit camp. Cool, they can't see us immediately. Our sneaking has become better. No, you're... Oh, what? You're on our side? Hmm. You looked like a bandit to me. to wonder are these air quote guards bandit guards I would say bandit if it would be a bandit well wow, this is embarrassing Margin for error if you have not enough skill is so so small. It needs to be pixel perfect. Wow. The content of this chest better be worth it. something well these guys actually seem to be friendly which begs the question what kind of bounty do we have kill the bandit leader located in Nilhelm so this is the bandit leader I'm not going to regret this. Um, yeah, we're not, we haven't lost anything. I'm not used to the fact that I can just like what assassinate want, targets. Yes. What are you doing? Okay, apparently for whatever reason yes. they think we're friendly. 
Which makes that whole uh, thing much simpler. I don't know why they are called guards and not bandits. All I know there is a bandit camp here. Well, that was the easiest bandit camp ever. A bit anticlimactic. <laughs> Sleeping targets take a hundred, uh, hundred times the damage if you can get to them and apparently with backstep it's even 300 times the damage which was fun <laughs> all right cool yeah easy pc nilheim that's how it's done guys just be friends with the local bandits and yeah no problema whatsoever I think we'll do another quick dungeon because that was dissatisfying. Good, we jump right into an ambush of a bear. Can I find a tree somewhere? Do not fight him on the ledge, but rather in and around the tree. always hug the tree, hug the tree, make sure that you're not getting hit by the bear. I'm not sure if the same strategy would work in real life, but I'm not keen to find that out. Play it tight. Okay, cool. Two can play that game. And I just wanted to harvest a couple of these flowers. Plus, explore the cave. Alright, Pine Peak uh, Cavern. We are dealing with another bear. Which I will kite. Uh, Orc Shero, yes. tree in here so my go-to strategy doesn't really work out need to regain some stamina I don't want to fight it up close
Which is why poison is so important. Gotta manage our stamina well. And make the shots count. Bear is at half. I think we can squeeze one lame shot in. And regain stamina. Not the most beautiful of gameplays, but I want the loot and I want to clear this cave. And I'll do what it takes to survive. Including missing. Let's see, can I trap it here? I can, I think that's the more effective way. Just need to avoid its launch as well. Okay, another chest with hopefully adequate loot to compensate for going through this painful game. Reminder to myself, let's level lock picking as well. Just so that this here is not always happening. Finally. Well, that's two regular insights and a skill book, so I would say that was worth it. Off to the next cave. Good. Next up in our circle, we're going to Honey Strand Cave. More bears. Wonderful. Two of you, okay. Well, luckily we got plenty of trees. And I got a lot of poison. Power attack works well, but unfortunately it leaves us open to counter attacks.
to our poison strategy. Okay, we're at least going to sell some pelts. I mean, it's not great, but okay. And these guys are decent XP as well. Plus, as you can see, we're getting chest experience even from these rather atypical locations. Alright, off to the next one. I still am looking for the good uh, finale for this episode. Yes, so our final destination. We're going for Falder's Tooth. It's a pretty difficult camp, located right here. Many, many archers, which is not necessarily our strong suit. We gotta deal with this one here a bit carefully. Very good. Isolated a couple of them. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Poison the dagger and let's go. Regain some health first. You won't live to see tomorrow. But these two were fairly easy, although I did not play it very well. Harder part will be the many, many archers up ahead. You can already see six of them. All right, two of them. Are having an archer duel with us. As long as we drain the arrows, we're fine.
sphere work. Yeah. Completely unaffected, unfortunately. healing less uh, than a potion okay the next guy is out of arrows and is charging us Okay, we can definitely take one. Wait until they pull out the ball again and then engage. Bennett leader still not to be seen. I'll retreat for a second as we heal up. I'm under the impression we're only fighting one more bandit. To get stamina back. Pretty sure we had flowers. All right, go. Good, he's almost down. Why am I fighting with silver arrows? That's stupid. Oh, we're almost out of any form of arrow.
come on. Yeah, can't engage, but you know what we can do? Exactly. Play dirty. Who let the dogs out? Ooh, 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 ooh. Good, I think we need to take the main entrance. There is still a bandit with a massive health bar somewhere here. Else we would have been out of combat by now. to do it but let's go inside all right let's go ah he has seen me unfortunate So much easier to rob when you're dead. Enough! Okay, repoisoning. That's what I was trying to do the last time. So, next up, invisibility. I'll do you ten gold at three to one on the white one. Is someone there? Sounds like easy money to me. You're on. Get him, over here. <laughs> yeah, I should have not moved. That unfortunately gave our position away, and with that, spoiled the whole assassination attempt.
but slowly but surely regaining our health. I actually prefer those guys to pick up the staff, to be honest, instead of running around with their crossbows, which deal way more damage. A bit clear. I tried to avoid the archers so much so that I ran into their power attack. That was it. Whew. What a close fight.
Why am I falling for such a stupid trap? Okay, gotta refill. We're almost at the end of the dungeon. Stupid move, my friend. Wow. That guy scared me for a moment. there. I think only one more bandit. Not even sure about that. There was a boss. Definitely saw a boss bar. Anyways, I'll go in. It, the episode is long enough. I'll level up and we'll finish here. I'll kill the last guy the next time. As already indicated, we want to get lockpicking to 25, just so that it's not always such a dilemma. Evasion 25. Now it is sneak. We got two levels. Uh, mm, Muffled movement, yes, please. Mm. 
No, I think we want the power attack less stamina. That is helpful. And then dagger focus in a little bit uh, a little bit later. Could also perk into illusion, but yeah, the next one once we do a sneak 50 sh uh, should be anatomic lore anyways gotta head out guys thanks for watching i appreciate you uh, sneak a like into this video and see you in the next episode bye bye